Good morning. Amanda sent me her dreams from last night. There's three, and as I read them, it's a certain theory that's screaming out to me. With that in mind, rather than read them aloud, it makes sense to teach you the theory instead. Do you remember in school the saying, read it, write it, recite it? That's the repeat, it's how we learn. And your unconscious operates the exact same way. You'll have images that seem completely unrelated until you deconstruct them. And that is exactly what I do. Once you deconstruct the symbols, as I'm about to do, you'll appreciate that while you had three separate dreams, in fact, you're repeating the same thing to yourself. Hello? It's your unconscious making sure that you get it. And this is why, when doing my work, the fact that the dreams happened in the same night for me are treated as one dream. The following are examples of repetition that were screaming at me. The first smaller one is the subject of sleeping. You say it during the first dream and how you and your boyfriend are sleeping in the house in Italy. You say it again in the second dream, quote, I was so sleepy I kept falling in and out of sleep. You refer to sleep a third time when you're looking for your boyfriend, you find him in, quote, the room you usually slept in. In this dream, the repeat would inspire me to ask myself, what issue in my waking life am I not looking at? You know what I mean? If something's in my life that's bugging me and I'm avoiding looking at the matter, it might show up in my dream as being sleepy. Sleeping and sleepy in my personal dictionary translates to my having my eyes closed. Get it? I'm closing my eyes in one dream and trying to close them in another. And that brings the question, what situation in my life am I either tired of looking at, or is it that I'm not looking at it all together? Staying with that same theme, the next repeat, in my humble opinion, is a stunning example of this theory. Because not only does it build on this issue of what I'm seeing and not seeing, but now it's got an added element of not seeing what I expect to see. Or this can also be me saying to myself, I can't find who or what I am looking for. A, this happens in the first dream in how my parents are there, but I never really saw them. B, it happens again in the second dream in how I wake in a different bed and I don't see John there with me, which is what I would normally expect to see. C, the new girl who came is not in the bed where I expected her to be. And D, the repeat continues into the third dream where I can't find my bag with my computer in it anywhere. In other words, I don't see it, which harkens me back to the first eyes closed repeat. The third series of repeating that occurs in these dreams, for me, is the key to a potential solution to whatever it is that's bugging me this week that triggered these dreams in the first place. That is about how, in fact, I do succeed in finding several people and items in the dreams. A, after searching for John, I actually do find him, and it's in the bed we normally sleep in. B, while I don't find the new girl in her bed, I expected, I do find the pink blanket. And in dream language, which is not literal, finding her blanket for me is the same thing as finding her. Three, in the third dream, a man on the ship finds and returns my bag and computer to me. In fact, Amanda, you say that in waking life, you actually did lose your bag with your computer in it, and it was also returned to you. For me, that counts as a fourth repeat. These repeats lead me to the following questions I would be asking myself if these were my dreams. Since the dream at the first level is the conversation I'm having with myself concerning a situation that's going on in my life this week, the first question is, what's going on here that I'm avoiding? What is it that I don't wanna look at or see? My second question is, what is it in my life that I can't seem to find? Is it my courage? Is it my voice? My confidence? Is it myself in general that I can't find myself? By the way, I'm getting this I can't find myself thing from the computer metaphor because my computer holds my identity. And finally, when searching for the solution that our dreams 
always offer, I will take great notice not to be concerned about finding myself again. For me, the dreams are about me listening to myself, finding my voice when it's needed. And the reason I'm not too concerned is because in my dreams, I keep showing myself over and over again. What I think I've lost, I seem to have had all along. And maybe that's the message for the dreams. For me, it's a way for my unconscious to remind me how my self-worth cannot come to me from outside, no matter how hard I search, because my self-worth has been with me all along. And that, for me, is the lesson of the dreams. So, I look forward to hearing your feedback, Amanda, because it's not my dreams, they're your dreams, and what you've been hearing is my projections. I look forward to hearing if you connected to any part of all of this. And for those of you out there, um, you can always find me at haveagreatdream.com. And have yourself a nice evening.